you are welcome to this channel where we want to analyze this question under geometric construction and the question goes like this it says a spindle is shown in the figure one in which the length of the various diameters are expressed as fractions of the total length copy the drawing obtaining the length by construction now this is the spindle right that is displayed at the top right corner of the screen and we are told to withdraw it and we should show the length we should obtain the length by construction first of all the first thing you do is to draw your center line right you draw the center line the center line that will be long short long just like that So this is the center line that we have that again now the next thing we do is if you look at this the entire length height of this is 75 right so i'm going to measure 75 now what i will do is i'll take my c square and i'll place it on my t square this way just i'll pick a point there let's show this point right and i'm going to draw a faint line first of all this way i see that and this is where they are meeting now on that point i'm going to measure 75 that means i'll take 75 in that's 7.5 in both sides so taking my meter rule I'll measure that 7.5 this way. Let's say this is 0, this is 35, this is 36, this is 37, and 7.5 is in between 37 and 38. Right? Now I'm going to place it at this point here and I'll mark up and down. You can see that. So that is the highest the point that I will have. Then I'll use my meter rule and I'll just draw a faint line this way. First of all. You can see that. So that will be my baseline there. Now what I'm going to do is the entire length is given to be um two hundred. That again, I'm going to measure 200 the entire length. I can decide to make this point taking my meter root to measure 200. So if I place it this way, right, and I'll measure 200. Now, if you look at it, 200 from this point here, any point that I want to choose, I'll measure 200. The entire length should be 200. You can see that so meaning that uh, i'm starting from one means my one is zero so from one to 21 is what is 200 is that the key from one to 21 is 200 because i'm starting from one if i'm starting from zero from zero to 20 is what 200 now in doing that i will now project this point this line upward with my uh C square put it upward this way this is what i'm going to do i put it this upward i'll come here also i put it this upward you can see that then i'm going to close it up using this as my <laughs> reference point this way from this point straight down to this point 
that so what i'm actually focusing on i'm not focusing on this i'm not focusing on the beginning and the ending let's say the beginning is a and the ending here is what is b now the next thing is since the length here you're seeing is given in fraction right now we use the concept of division of line in proportion to attain this value first of all I will draw an inclined line that is parallel to what to a b right so let me do this way this is my inclined line here i'll just draw it this way at any given angle i'll just draw it this way you can see that but this is the inclined line and i'll take my compass at any given length let's say maybe 5 or 10 any one of your choice you can see that and i'm going to mark it along this inclined line here and what what is the value the value should be the denominator of this fraction which is what 11 so i'll start from here this is point a that will be this is one the next one will be what will be two the next one will be what three we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and what? And eleven, depending on how you want it. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is with the help of your line division, if you can remember that, you can just click at the link at the top right corner here to get a video that will teach you how to divide your line now what i'm going to do is i'm going to join the last point to the first point You can see that I have divided this line into what? Into 11. How do I mean? Then those points that I marked, I'm going to project them up to touch the highest points here using my faint line. Right? So I've divided it into 11. If you count it, this is 1, this, this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. What I'll simply do is, if you look at your diagram, we're told that the first from this point to this point is 2 by 11. So we'll start. So this is 0, this is 1, this is 2 by 11. So that's the point I'm going to project up. So the second line meaning 2 by 11. So I'll project that point up. So I'll take in it. I'm going to take in it. Oh, the line is thickened so i am thickening the line now then the next one another one over 11 you can see so that means i'll now move where i'm starting from is zero then the next point will not be one right so that will be one over 11 and i'm going to put that point up to You can see that so i'll close it up this is my one over eleven my one over eleven right now if you look at the diameter here what the diameter is what is 40 right so i'm going to take my compass and i'm going to measure half of 40 which is what 20 on my meter rule so i place it this way from here to this point is 20 and i'm going to place it on this center here right or anywhere i want to as long as i'm marking 20 up 20 down to give me my 40 then if you look at the diagram from here to here is thickened 
So I'm going to thicken it. So I'll thicken from this point straight down to this point, and also from this point straight down to this point. And I'm going to close it up or just thicken it this way. I'll just thicken it this way, right? From here. You can see that? That's the first thing that we're what? We're doing. So the next thing I'll be doing again will be from here to here is 4 over 11. So since I'm starting from this point here, right? This will be 0, this will be 1, 2, 3, 4. Then I'll get the next point. Then I'm going to use my center, my T square. I'm going to use my T square this way. Alright, so let's see. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So I'm starting from here. Taking it up. So I'll thicken it since it is thickened. Can see that? That's what we have there. Then the next one, if you look at it from here to here, is 1 over 11. Right? So I'm going to count. This is where I'm starting from is 0, then this is 1. So I'll take that up to replace my C square there at that point. Then I'll drive it up. You can see that? Then I'll close it down. This is closed. And this is also closed. Can see that now if you look at this now we have uh, from here to here it giving us 45 and half of the 45 is 22.5 so i'm going to measure 22.5 on my meter root this is zero this is 20 here this is 21 22 22.5 is the middle in between 0 0.3 and 0 0.4 Right, so this is what we have here. So I take and I'm going to place it at this center here, and I'll mark up and I'll mark down. You can see, so to give me this thickness from here to here. So I'll use my meter rule, my T square or my rule, and just connect here straight down to this point. I'll make it here also. I also connect from here straight down to this point. You can see that. Then the next one will not be this last point here, which is 3 over 11. So you start from here, this is 0, 1, 2. Are you with me? We're having 3 over 11. We have this 0, 1, 2, 3. You can see that? So it means that. This thickness you're seeing here is occupying this entire length. So what is the thickness of that? That is 40 diameter, right? So from here, 20 up, 20 down. And if you remember, from here also to this point is 20 up, 20 down. So I can just easily transfer my point from this point, place my rule here, and gauge this point, move it to this point, then I'll connect to the last point here. You can see that I'll come here also. I'll do the same thing from here and I'll connect to this point. And I'm going to close it up. You can see that. So we have um, successfully reproduced um, the figure. So if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, share, and click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.